Okay, I pressed the boop boop button. All right, I'm recording. Hello. We are out here. Hello, family. Let's do a better intro. This is Lillian Francis, your friendly friend from YouTube and other internet places, as well as real life. You guys, I realized that it is my blah, reason that I'm here on this sweet, sweet baby green earth that I get to make music and teach people about music and get people as stoked about music making as I am. It is my goal to make the music technologies as not complicated as possible. <laughs> It has been very complicated for a long time for me and I feel like every time it like click click clicks I'm like oh that like actually totally makes sense. So it's my goal to explain to you music technology in a way that just makes sense right off the bat. So today we are going to be looking into Ableton, I uh, Ableton Live 11 which just came out on um, yonder day. We're gonna see how to create a random chord generator. My favorite way to make music is just to like beep beep boop boop and have the computer come up with something for me and then I can be the judge and be like yes computer no computer try again computer and then I get stuff that's just like really random and I never would have thought of and that's awesome so today we're gonna make a random chord generator using a random MIDI effect a scale effect an LFO a couple other little fun fun things so let's dive right on in <laughs> all right fam welcome to the proj proj here we just have a little drum beat I'm a little drum beat short and stout here is my kick and here is my snare it's got potential first we're going to make a new MIDI track shift command T and and I'm going to drag in a little piano. This is called Better Piano. It is by the Beat Lab Academy. Follow them on YouTube and stuff like that. They're awesome. I have tons of free racks and instruments. So first things first, we have this sweet, sweet Max for Live effect called Chord Generator. And we technically have this in Ableton 10, but I didn't discover it until Ableton 11. So we're doing this right now. I'm also going to throw on this Beat Lab keyboard right here, which is going to show you what I am playing on my little um, computer dongle, computer dingle, computer noodle. Okay, okay. We got to arm my track. No, okay, yes, okay. So the chord generator will take your note and then it will turn it into major or minor or it will add a sixth or seventh. <laughs> uh. Ugh. All right, so there are obviously um, better chords than others. What we wanna do is randomize this so every time I play just a C, I get a different chord in the key of C. First things first, I'm gonna grab this little random MIDI chord effect and place it in front of my keyboard. I'm also gonna place my keyboard behind this so you can see what's happening with our random. Chance knob determines how likely it is that what I press is actually gonna be what's heard on the other end. So I'm gonna set chance to one hundo, and every time I hit C, that will just play any random note somewhere in that octave. I'm gonna delete this keyboard for now, minimize this chord generator and bring the keyboard to the other end so you can see how these random chords are now being triggered. However, we want to keep this all in the same scale. So we're going to open up the handy dandy scale MIDI effect. And to find it under MIDI effects. And then here you can see the drop down menu will show you all of the different presets that Ableton has already hooked us up with. So I'm just gonna grab a major scale cause I want everything to bounce into a major scale, but you can do whatever scale you want. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this behind the chord generator. And now everything that I press is going to be in the key of C. Now I can transpose this to a different key if I want by just changing the bass here. So now it's on the key of D, key of E, F, etc. And now instead of just having every note that I hit be played as a major seventh, I'm going to randomize it. And the best way to do this is with an LFO. I love me an LFO. They are so powerful. Dear Lillian, what is an LFO? I'm glad you asked. An LFO is a low frequency oscillator. It goes up and down, up and down. It is a waveform that is so low that you don't hear it, but it is used to move a parameter. So you assign it to parameter and then it beep, beep, beep movies with the, um, the rate and the shape of said wave. What we can do is open up the multi-map mode, which is right here. This will give us several mapping options because I'm going to be mapping several parameters. Now I can hit map and then select any one of the these chord generator parameters and it will move it back and forth at the rate and wave that we have selected. So now I'm going to map the rest. Now you're gonna see that they're all moving back and forth at a rate of one hertz and as a sine wave. I want it to be rando, so I'm gonna hit random and you can bump up the rate if you want. 
It just depends on how fast the notes you're gonna be playing are going. All right, let's see what this sounds like. I'm going to create a new MIDI clip by selecting where I want it to start and then holding shift and selecting where I want it to end. This will select time and now I hit shift command M and a new MIDI clip is created. So let's just draw in some little doobity doo notes. Let's make a bigger grid by hitting command two. Okay, I like this. I'm gonna switch over to my draw tool by hitting B and then I'm just gonna draw some notes across. All right, excellent. Now as it's playing, every time this one C note is triggered, a different chord will actually be triggered instead. So let's give it a listen and see if it sounds remotely good. But what happens if we actually like a chord progression? It hasn't been captured anywhere, so how would we recreate it for our song? Well, let's take this to the next level. We are going to create a new MIDI track, Shift Command T. Let's rainbow this real hot quick. What I want to do is take the information that this BL Better Piano is sending out and capture it in MIDI form. So I created this new MIDI track. I'm going to arm my MIDI track, and using this handy dandy in out section, I am going to to select that I want to be getting my MIDI information from not all ins, but from to BL Better Piano. So now in addition to sending audio to the master, they are also going to be sending MIDI over to this three MIDI track, which I'm going to rename chords. All right, let's go ahead and hit our arrangement record button. <laughs> Awesome, so doing this, I'm coming up with chord, I'm coming up with chord progressions, were, me and my computer, are coming up with chord progressions that I otherwise would not be coming up with. So like, I like this one right here. I'm going to select it, hit Command E, do a little choppy chop. So now I have just this MIDI clip and let's just duplicate this. So also let's remember that this chord MIDI track does not have an instrument on it, so it will sound like Nothing. Uh, we're gonna copy over the instrument. We can just drag it over with our option key held down, drop it, and now we have the Beat Lab Better Piano on this sweet, sweet little chord noodle. Also remember to switch the input to just all in. So it's not getting information from yonder track. Okay, let's listen to what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, fine, I like that. And I could just do this forever and come up with lots, we could come up with lots, lots of chord progressions and just noodle around. So this is a fun way to spark creativity and encounter something that you wouldn't normally come up with. I hope you learned a thing or two about some sweet, sweet little plugins and devices or whatever else we talked about. I don't remember, it all happened so fast. <sighs> I would truly appreciate you if you liked this video and subscribed, and it will help me on my mission to spread musical joy throughout the internet and beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Lillian Francis, and I will catch you next week-ish with a new video. Bye. Bye.